What's up folks, this is Ryan Humphreys with Engearment.com and today I'm going to be talking about a piece of gear that I have personally owned for about three years and a piece of gear that we have just installed in the Existence Training Center. I think you're gonna like it. So I wanna start off with a quick story. 22 years ago, I'm 20 years old, I'm stationed in Okinawa, Japan and I had an experience on a commode that I won't soon forget. I go into the restroom, I sit down on a heated seat Mind you, is my first encounter with a heated seat toilet, pretty phenomenal. Um, and there's this device on the side of the toilet. Now I can only assume it's what I've heard of as a bidet. Now I've heard of bidets, they use them in Europe, they use them in Asia, but for some reason they haven't made it across the pond yet to America. Again, this is 22 years ago. Um, I do my business. There's a warm stream of water, a little blow dryer. Uh, I think it even played music. Anyway, I'm blown away and I think to myself, man, this is pretty cool. I can't wait until this contraption, this bidet, makes it over to the United States. Fast forward 20 something years later and we're just getting around to cleaning our butts as well as these folks across the pond. Now I love America, I love me some freedom, and we can do better. We can do a lot better. I don't necessarily judge people that don't use bidets, I just think they're not as clean as people that do. We reached out to Tushy and told them, hey, we have a gym, all right? We have an adventure training center here in Denver, Colorado, and that's a lot of butts, all right? A lot of people coming through here. Sometimes that pre-workout hits, and without going into too much gross detail, look, everybody poops, all right? You're a human that goes to the bathroom, like, you do the thing, okay? And then when you go number two, you grab some toilet paper most likely, you wipe yourself and then you just go on about your business. Now let me ask you, if you were changing a diaper, all right, if you were changing a diaper and you accidentally got some human fecal matter on your arm, would you take a dry piece of paper towel or toilet paper, give it a quick wipe, maybe wipe it twice and just go on about your business? I would hope not, but that's just me. All right, I would personally bring some water into it, probably some soap and water, at least some water with some velocity behind it, right? And then I'd give it a, give it a good scrub. Yet, for some reason, humans are just out there every day dropping deuces and thinking it's okay to take a dry piece of paper towel, smear it around and, and wash their hands and be gone. I'm telling you, you're not gonna have a great workout if you're wondering whether or not you got it all. Now, I know this review can, is, is a little bit gross, but you're watching a review about a bidet, so I imagine you are interested. So let's talk about the actual Tushy bidet. It took me about 10 minutes to install, and then it was a little bit faster than that once I installed it on the second toilet. So we have two bidets here at Existence. We have two bathrooms, and again, it takes about 10 minutes to install. It's literally one of the easiest contraptions. You unscrew the hose from the back after turning the water off, all right? Turn the water off, unscrew the tushy hose right into that and then right into the bottom and you're literally good to go. So how does this thing work? Great question. You have a seat, do your thing as you would normally do and then before you go reach for that massive amount of toilet paper because you hate trees for whatever reason, all right, you take your hand and you reach down to the knob and you turn it slightly until that stream goes right where you want it to. There are a few different models of Tushy. You could opt for a warm water, cold water. We did the basic bare bones. I'm totally fine with cold water. In fact, I think it woo, kind of wakes you up a little bit. Anyway, you reach down, you turn that knob until the stream is directly on you know, where it might be dirty. Okay, and then there's another little switch that you can turn up or down. It's kind of like a swipe in a credit card. All right, so you can direct that stream a little bit more to where it needs to go. And then from there, now you can kill those trees. You can get a little bit of toilet paper, pat, 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 and congratulations. You're now the cleanest that you've probably ever been after dropping a deuce. Let's talk about price. The Tushy 3.0. All right, the Hello Tushy. Uh, also, go to hellotushy.com. Do not go to tushy.com. That's a different website. Pricing. The Tushy is $99, typically $129 uh, right now on sale for $99 as per the website. However, if you buy two, you get $90 off of the second one. So if you have two bathrooms in your house, or maybe you only have one bathroom, but you also know another human that poops from their butt who also wants to be clean, you should probably go ahead and do the buy two because it's kind of an amazing deal 
And it's what's really unfortunate, the most unfortunate thing about the Hello Tushy or about the bidet in general is once you start using it, you're gonna be somewhere at some point that's not gonna have one and you're just gonna feel a little bit unclean for the rest of the day. So if I had to say there's a downside to using a bidet, the downside is you're going to get used to it. You're going to get used to feeling clean, uh, much like our friends overseas have been doing for decades, all right? Uh, hundreds of years, actually centuries probably. Marie Antoinette was known to have a, a nice red bidet that she was very fond of, as the legend has it. So. That is my review for the Tushy 3.0 bidet. You should probably get one because you're not as clean as you think you are. Do I think less of people that don't use bidets? No, uh, I, just, I just think they're less clean.